All right. Uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, all right. I have an idea. I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to check out. Wow, this is low. I'm going to check out how my other account is doing. So let's see how this is going. Hmm. Wow, <laughs> got old videos here. Hmm, got some notifications from two weeks ago. From one week ago. A new subscriber three days ago. A new sub one day ago. Holy crap. Have my videos been blowing up or something? Let's see here, the view count. 7k? 9k? 4.5? Holy crap, when was the last time I uploaded? Oh god. Alright guys, so... Um, I noticed it's been a long time since I've been back, so what we're gonna do in this video is... I'm gonna show you guys how to install the game and install the mod into the game. So first of all, I want to thank everybody who has actually subscribed to me. I only, I noticed I only have 49 subscribers, but I've been inactive for a long time and I've still been managing to increase my subscribers and get a bunch of views. So I think you guys deserve this. So I'm going to start this just like how I imagine anybody else would whenever they encounter my videos or channels. And that is go to my most recent video at least because um, in my videos I tr I try to put all the resources that you need. Oh, see this guy. When are you gonna release the damn tutorial, man? I'm releasing it now. Shit. All right. So here we go. First of all, I want to say thanks to Cave Cricket and Nomicon Games. Um, Cave Cricket is the guy who actually made the program and Nomicon Games is the guy who actually created a download link for my mod so you can thank both of them. Anyways, how we're going to start is by first opening this first link here. Now, um, and if you open this link, I think the first thing you'll notice is that it's actually not called FSG3D, so this might already instantly just be like a red flag for some of you guys. This is actually the newest version of FSG 3D that Cave Cricket has created. It's literally the same thing, just a little bit of things have changed to it. So what we're gonna wanna do is click this download link. I know this whole page looks sketchy as hell. It's not secure, it's Mediafire, but uh, you know, I, I don't wanna say trust, trust me, but you gotta follow this tutorial if you guys want this shit. Anyways, you're going to download a file called blacksnowspowdermod.rar now on windows you can't open rar files or extract them so i actually provided a second link a second link here for the program to do just that now this program is called winrar and um, there's a lot of different versions here that will run on whichever computer you guys need or whichever computer you guys have. I have a 64-bit um, Windows computer, so I'm going to be going to download that. Now, what you're going to see here is that, okay, I actually already got this installed, but this actually works the same as if it's not installed. What, I'm going to, what you're going to want to do is open the WinRAR archiver file. A window is going to pop up asking if you guys want to allow this app to make changes to your device so you click yes it's going going to pull up this installer window you click install you wait a few seconds for it to install or just to go to the next window it's going to show you all the different files that you can um, kind of convert or extract you click ok and then it will say thank you for using WinRAR um, done so now you have WinRAR, you have the program you need to open the game. You actually don't need to open WinRAR itself because it opens automatically on any file that is a RAR file or RAR file. 
So now what we're going to do is go back to the powder game here, Black Snow's powder mod, and I don't have the full version of WinRAR, but that's okay. We only need it for just a moment here. So what you're going, going to want to do is, um, let's see, we can look in here and just see what files are in there, but what we're going to want to do is actually go back out just so we can see the folder itself and extract it to the desktop. So do that, click on desktop up here, or you can even try to look for it, hit OK. And because it's a relatively very small folder, it's going to probably extract instantly. So if we double check here, there it is. I know my desktop is freaking atrocious. Anyways, so here it is. So what we can do now, this is the this is just the icon. This is the actual file here. So if you guys click it to open it, what you'll see is the base game right here. Now I'm going to create a um, couple other videos. First one is going to be just talking about how you can change the parameters of the game here itself. But for this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to install the mod because it's been a long time and I think you guys deserve it. So let's actually open that a second time. And from here, you can see these are the base elements. Um, just wall, fire, water, steam, plant. It's just a uh, small list of elements here. But what we're going to do is we're going to install my mod, which is a very long list of elements that you guys can have fun with. So really quick before we do that, or actually, yeah, let's let's um, let's go back here and then I'll talk about that later. So we got the game, we got WinRAR to open the game. Now the third link here is the actual link to the mod itself. So what you guys are gonna want to do is click on that link. It's gonna open another another tab, and from here. I have a readme file for kind of a tutorial, but this is the video tutorial, so you guys don't need to download that. There's a drop down menu all the way on the right side here. Click down on that and click download. So from here, you're going to basically just be downloading a text file called physics. Um, so really quickly, let's get that going. Let's show this baby in the folder minimize this this is the file that we just downloaded so we can drag that over to the desktop and here is where I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about how this program runs so it's super duper simple basically this program here opens up two different text files the first text file is the options um, here you'll see simple parameters for the background, the BG color, um, and the workspace. So um, I'll, I'll create another video going into more details about those. But right now, what we're interested in is this physics text document. Now this physics text document here is actually basically all the elements of the game that makes it fun. So. As you can see, you download this game that it already comes with a physics text document. Now, I'm gonna consider these just like the base physics. So what I would recommend you guys doing is creating another folder on your desktop. I already did that, I already did that right here. It's called FSG3D Base Physics. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is um, save this physics text document just in case you need it because what we're gonna be doing is actually replacing it with the new one that we just downloaded. So what I'm gonna do is drag this, drop it into the base physics folder that I made earlier, and I'm going to take this new physics text file that we just downloaded and basically just drag and drop it into this folder. 
now when we open the game one thing you guys will notice um, when you open up the menu here is bam there are all of the elements that I modded into the program so I hope you guys have a lot of fun I want to say thank you again to everybody who has subscribed and followed my channel and watched um, I'm sorry this took so freaking long but um, yeah I'm gonna start pumping out some more videos about kind of how to change this whole playground area for you guys I mean if you guys know just a lick of programming or not even programming just kind of just computer language or I don't even know what to call it you probably already know based on this options folder and seeing what what there is there how to mess around with that but I'm gonna create another video completely kind of showing you guys how to do that so uh, but yeah just to test out this little thing here I'm going to show you guys here we go we got LC4 right here that's one of the elements I create I kind of modded into the game and BAM look at that works like a charm Let's see another one. Firework right there. I kind of I kind of like look like activating firework from the bottom because it shoots up. So just like this. Oops. Just like this. Come on. Bam. Just like that. Fireworks. So uh, yeah. You guys have. A lot of like hope you guys have a lot of fun with this please share this video um, I hope you guys record all your different videos about this game um, I really want to share this with everybody out there so yeah follow this tutorial share it with people so you can kind of spread awareness of a now a 3d powder game um, thanks again uh, please subscribe so you guys can follow up on my next videos and uh, yeah thanks again for watching